Sports Radio 910's Gary Hess along with Gary Criswell. We're here at Hermitage High School where tonight the Panthers look every bit the number one team. Very impressive. Manhandling Goblin 46-10. You have to like the way they've handled all the uh, domination they've had in the Colonial District. And I say that because it's easy to get complacent during a long football season. And as we said in our post-game comments, this team has gotten better since we saw them pull no out a, a fourth quarter comeback against LeBron. They've polished a lot of things that I know bother the coaching staff and some of the players have stepped up their level of performance. Uh, their their big gun, Derek Green, looked really good. It was a complete win for Armitage, and it kind of started with their depth and their special team play because they didn't they made a couple mistakes early on, but they were just able to get the game under control and and the, the, your call – was about that that long touchdown run at the end of the first quarter was uh, was great because Derek Green just it was just a man sized run it really was and you know you got Derek Green you got Nico Johnson at quarterback you've got that defensive unit that excels you've got John Stiebel who's a great punter and kicker this is a complete football team and you add Stiebel is surrounded by hungry guys that want to get on the field for right. regular plays from scrimmage. And, and you, you, they're very deep as far as athletes are concerned. So you got to be very excited about where Hermitage is going into the playoffs. We uh, wanted to see Dane four lines, and he couldn't do it by himself tonight, but he is an outstanding high school football player. Great competitor, played on both sides of football, return kicks, uh, was a great field general out there, probably had a few balls dropped. He was 10 for 21 anyway, uh, and he basically kept Hermitage into the game until – that last drive in the second quarter, and it kind of put a dagger in them, uh, and it was just tough to recover, even though they had halftime to talk about it. Now, the Division Six playoff picture is really taking shape now. You've got Hermitage, you've got Bird, you've got Meadowbrook, and you've got the Verona Holland Springs winner. Absolutely, and and it just depends on how they get slotted right now. But it looks like that uh, that the Verona or, or uh, Holland Springs winner could can end up. Uh, with the number one seed, but Harmonage will take the lead this week going into it. But they, you know, the other teams have, uh, especially Verona, have other, uh, have harder opponents. So therefore, their wins will be more valuable if they can pull it off. And speaking of Verona, that's where we'll be next week for Verona and a reeling Hanover team that figures to kind of circle the wagons. Uh, Sam Rogers will be one week healthier, and they will need to put up a good performance against Verona as they try to point toward the Division Five playoffs. They want to keep those rivalries with teams like Verona in there, and then they've got another county game left before it's all. Oh no, I take it back. They actually finished the Hanover County spread. They're back. They finished with Glen Allen, so they're in pretty good shape to get it in the playoffs. But I know it's a pride thing. I know. Uh, Coach Just and his and his staff and his players want to be in the thick of that Capital District race. So I think next week will be a great battle. It'll be a lot of fun to check out what happens over at Hermitage, and we'll have it all for you next Friday night. Everything you need for high school football on Sports Radio 910 and SportsRadio910.com. He's Gary Crystal. I'm Gary Hess. See you later.